Hi, kids. Kids, today we will learn what are renewable and non-renewable sources of energy. So let's start. We have learned that there are different types of sources of energy. Chemical energy, nuclear energy, stored mechanical energy, gravitational energy, sound energy, electrical energy. Now we will learn which sources of energy are called renewable sources of energy and which sources of energy are called non-renewable sources of energy. Let's first start with renewable sources of energy. Sources of energy that are easily replaced by nature and we can keep using them forever. That is, they will not be finished over time, no matter how much you use them. Examples of renewable sources of energy are solar energy, wind energy, hydro energy, and biomass energy, and geothermal energy. We just need not use them judiciously. They are unlimited and are all the time being replaced by nature. Wood, fruits, vegetables too can be considered as renewable sources of energy, but only if we keep planting them in big numbers. If we are cutting forests, we must plant more trees, even more than a number of trees cut down so that new forest is ready in some years. Solar energy. Sunlight is very important source of energy. All the plants need sunlight to grow and give us food, wood, medicine, cotton, and much more. It's the direct sunlight that all plants use to produce food and grow. We get vitamin D from this sunlight. Many types of solar power plants use sunlight to produce electricity. Sunlight can be directly used to cook food using solar cookers. And many more devices are there to trap the solar energy and bring it to use. Solar energy is clean and free energy and is abundantly available. Only disadvantage is that it's not available all the time. It's not available 24 hours of the day and also not 12 months of the year. Now let's learn wind energy. Heat from the sun that differentially heat the environment of the earth that is, the Earth's atmosphere and Earth's surface are unevenly heated. There are different temperatures at different places on Earth. And this difference in temperature causes warmer air to move up and cooler air to move down. And this moving of air is called wind. And this wind energy is trapped to serve various purposes. Windmill. Windmill uses the kinetic energy of the wind to pump the underground water and to grind grain. And big wind turbines use the kinetic energy of the wind to produce electricity that lights our home and much more. So, wind energy is another renewable source of energy on Earth. And sun is the driving force behind wind energy. The only disadvantage of wind energy is that the speed of wind keeps changing. So does the wind energy. Now let's learn hydro energy. Like wind, water is also always flowing on Earth's surface. And this flowing water possesses kinetic energy that can be trapped to produce electric energy. Big dams are created to trap the potential energy of water 
and convert this potential energy of water to kinetic energy of water, which is then used to produce electricity. Next is biomass energy, or the energy stored in dead or living plant and animal matter. Plants use the solar energy to grow and produce fruit. And this fruits, vegetables, all store energy. This energy is transferred to those who eat it, animals or humans. So the energy is stored in all living organisms, living or once living. Even the dead remains of the once living things possess energy. That is, plants, waste, and dead decaying animals all have stored energy in them, which is known as bioenergy. And this biomass energy can be trapped in various ways. Burning, burning of biomass like wood, and other waste from the plant matter releases energy in the form of heat. That can be used to produce electricity, decomposition, garbage, human and animal waste, dead animals, all can be left to rot. And that releases a gas called biogas, also known as methane gas or landfill gas. And this biogas is a very good fuel which can be used for cooking and it can be used to produce electricity too. Now let's learn about another renewable source of energy, and it's geothermal energy. A lot of energy is stored beneath the Earth's surface in the form of hot molten matter or magma. And this energy can be trapped through various means. Steam of lava is trapped and used to run the turbines, which in turn produces electricity. It's a clean and sustainable energy. This heat energy of molten matter can be trapped from a few miles beneath the Earth's surface using a geothermal heat pump system. This energy can be directly used for heating homes and offices. Some cities in the U.S. also pipe this hot water and make an extensive network of pipes under the roads and sidewalks to melt snow. So kids, we learned about a lot of renewable sources of energy. Now let's learn about non-renewable sources of energy. Those sources of energy cannot be replaced by nature in a reasonable time frame. That is, once used, nature needs hundreds of thousands of years to replace them. For example, if we cut trees to use them, new trees can be grown at the same place in a matter of years. It can be 10 years, 15 years, or 20 years. But that's still a reasonable time frame. But fossil fuels, that is, coal, petrol, diesel, and kerosene, if we use them, nature needs thousands or even millions of years to make them again. Earth minerals, metal ores, fossil fuels, even underground water are examples of non-renewable sources of energy. Coal is a fossil fuel which is present beneath the Earth's surface and is formed in millions of years. It is extracted through various mines and is used in thermal power plants to produce electricity. Organic remains, that is, remains of plants and animals deep beneath the Earth's surface, turns into fossil fuels like natural gas and petrol, and diesel due to the immense pressure and temperature in millions of years. These fossil fuels possess a lot of energy and are used in vehicles and thermal power plants to produce electricity. But we are using them at an alarming rate. 
And if we continue to use them at this rate, they will be vanished in some years. And nature will need millions of years to make them again. They also have many other disadvantages. They pollute the environment, cause global warming, so are not good for human health too. So kids, today we learned a lot about renewable and non-renewable sources of energy. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.